Pope Benedict XVI will travel as a pilgrim to Santiago de Compostela, Spain on November 6th. It is a journey he has been planning with his brother Georg since before he was Pope. The two have been waiting until now to complete the journey in the Compostela Holy Year. They will spend eight short yet meaningful hours in Santiago. They will be received at the airport by the Prince and Princess of Asturias and the local authorities. He will travel the 14 kilometers from the airport to the cathedral in the famous Pope Mobile. Waiting for him will be more than 1,000 volunteers working in the crowd, which is expected to be in the thousands. We'll be in the International Press Center. We'll give logistical support to approximately 1,600 journalists. Any computer or data collection problem. We'll be supporting as volunteers the office of the regional government. We are already beginning to organize volunteers for the visit and preparing logistically for the flood of journalists and public who we expect in a small city like Santiago. The Cathedral Square, also called Square of Operadorio, has capacity for 25,000 people. More than 6,000 chairs will be set up, but for those unable to fit in the square, seven giant screens were installed in different parts of the city. Television de Galicia will direct broadcast the public events of Benedict XVI to television networks worldwide. There are five mobile units and 15 straight shots. In total, more than 70 cameras will broadcast to the world live the arrival of Benedict XVI at the airport and his trip to the cathedral and church in the afternoon. I think the coverage will be good. Inside the cathedral, Benedict XVI will visit the tomb of St. James and, like all pilgrims, embrace the statue. There he will find some 1,200 people, including children, the sick and the religious. The Pope is coming as a pilgrim. He'll perform all the rites of a pilgrimage, entering through the Holy Door to embrace the Apostle, to the crypt to pray at the tomb of St. James. He'll also admire the Bota Fumiero. The ceremony will finish with the Lord's Prayer and the Prayer of the Mass of St. James. He will complete all the rites, so to speak, performed by the pilgrims. In the Archdiocese of Santiago de Compostela, the Pope will have lunch with the Spanish Cardinals and Bishops of the Spanish Episcopal Conference. If we want to offer all our hospitality and availability to the pilgrims, then in a special way we want to do this for our most esteemed pilgrim, Pope Benedict XVI. At 4.30 in the afternoon, a highly anticipated moment will arrive. The Pope will be accompanied by about 600 priests and mass to commemorate this jubilee year at Santiago de Compostela. The biggest enemy for this event is the weather. Faced with the possibility of low temperatures, an electric pad has been installed on the platform which, along with TV spotlights, should smooth out the temperature. At 8 o'clock in the evening, the Pope will leave Santiago to fly to Barcelona, the second and final part of his trip to Spain.